Hi, we're here today. We just heard the talk from Karina Chateau, who is head of population genomics at Thermo Fisher Scientific. She's been telling us about uh, the big programs that we've been involved in, both with the Saudi Human Genome Program and also with Stratified Medicine Scotland. So Karina, that was a really great talk today. Thanks very much. Can you tell us a bit about um, the, the talk that you presented, key highlight? In particular, we touched on the Saudi Genome Program. Mm. Uh, it's a major national program, very ambitious, that literally took upon the charge to address the social and economic burden of rare inherited disorders. We also talked about the Scotland Stratified Medicine Programme and how the partnership between academia, industry and the NHS is providing future solutions for treating chronic disorders. So what did it mean in the Saudi Human Genome Project in terms of you know, the turnaround time and just a pragmatic sense of what they were doing to, to look at these panels? And so the turnaround time is actually one week compared to 7.6 years that usually takes for a clinician to uh, come up with a response for a child with rare disorders. Yeah, okay, so it was a pretty pragmatic approach in terms of just being able to do the sequencing and turn around a result. Is that pretty much why they chose this gene panel approach as exactly. opposed to whole genomes? Exactly, so because of the time effectiveness yeah. and cost, then you can scale it up to the whole population. And that's And is I how guess they computationally, it. right? It's just a lot easier. Exactly. Right. Yes. And if you look at the approach, it's basically based on a testing through genetic tests across 13 gene panels that cover all the Mendelian mm -hmm. disorders. And not only that, the Saudi Genome Program will allow the scientific community to look at a wealth of information. Uh, for example, rare variants that are considered deleterious mm -hmm. within the 1000 Genomes database have been found not to be deleterious in the Arab population. And also mm -hmm. age-related mechanisms or disease subtypes have been identified through these panels. And what about the Stratified Medicine Scotland group? Do they use the same approach or...? So this is a different approach. Mm. It's also in the sense of the uh, relationship between the network and infrastructure we have created is the same. But the approach here is to take the partnership and the thought leadership, to take that partnership between academia, industry and the NHS and provide solution for future uh, you know, chronic yeah. disorders. Yeah, yeah. And in particular, we have actually a core facility that will move soon to Glasgow. And that facility will allow large-scale genomic sequencing uh, through our uh, ION platform. Oh, that's great. So thanks very much. That's Thank been you. great.